my name is Maya. I am here today to do some yoga with you. We're going to read a couple of yoga books and we're going to read a book about how we can feel calm and peaceful using some mindful thinking. I want to give a super special hello to all of my friends at Minneapolis schools, including Hale Elementary and Prodeo Academy. I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're healthy and well. We'll start with our mindfulness book. The book is called I Am Peace. And on the front there's a, a person playing a guitar, and then on the back there's a person who has uh, some birds around them and they're feeding the birds. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before feeling a lot of those same worries. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water. I feel like a boat with no anchor. We've talked about anchor breathing and how that can help us feel a little more grounded. Being carried away. Whoa. I give myself a moment, I take a breath, and then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and I steady myself. And start to notice the here and now. My thoughts begin to settle, my mind begins to clear, I am peace. Noticing things that are happening right now, noticing the feeling of the ground or the feeling of your body sitting or standing, that can help you feel a little bit more peaceful when you start to worry. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside, out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. Plop. A seed begins to grow. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. If you've ever watched the clouds making shapes in the sky, it can feel really, truly tremendous how they can change and move and make different images. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune in to me. I notice what's what's happening, what's going on in my body, how I'm feeling right now. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I'm in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. The end. Oh, there it is. And I dream we are peace. 
That book has been really important for me to think about lately, not knowing when I get to see you again, all of my students, not knowing when I get to go out and enjoy being next to people and close to them again. That has me really worried. But when I just think about how I'm feeling right now, how my body is in the space, when I'm grateful for the things that I have around me, that can help a little bit to ease the worry. It doesn't make the worry go away forever, but it can help me feel just a little bit better knowing that I'm still breathing, I still have food and things that keep me safe and healthy. And just knowing right here and right now that I can move and be sharing this with you right now that brings me a little bit of peace. So thank you for being here. All right, let's move our bodies. We're gonna do a book called Good Morning Yoga to help wake our bodies up. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, my arms reach out to the sides, lift up to the sky, and then relax back down. My first breath is long and deep. Stand up tall. We're going to reach our arms up as we breathe in. And then out. Spread your toes wide. Reach up. And reach back down. I twist and turn to shake off sleep. I twist my whole body from side to side and swing my arms back and forth. All right, let's shake off our sleepy bodies. So stand with your feet a little apart, bend your knees, and we're gonna turn and shake. And breathe in and out. Good, you can go a little faster. Whoosh, and whoosh at the same time. Bending your knees, shake it all off. Good. I feels better already. Today I'm a fiery volcano reaching high. Whoa. I see her toes are spread really wide. We're going to do a volcano reach. So let's start down low. Spread your toes wide and get your arms ready to reach up on three. One, two, three. Good. A brave ski jumper ready to fly. Bend my knees and sweep my arms back. Okay, be a brave ski jumper. Start with your feet together. Bend your knees. Then reach your arms back. Take a deep breath in. Bend deeper. We can do a ski hop. Okay, and then swing your arms forward and then do another ski hop. Whoa. Okay, let's do that again. Forward and hop. Forward and hop. One more forward and hop. Whoa. That was a lot of hopping. A lightning bolt flashing across the sky. Ooh, we're going to have to bend deep into our knees again. Big lightning bolts. Stand up, reach your arms up high, bend your knees down low, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, sink lower, and then go like this. Good. Today I'm also a mountain, quiet and still. I'm going to need a few quiet breaths after all that moving and jumping. Stand tall. Feet together. Palms together. Close your eyes and breathe in. And out. Reach your head up to the ceiling. Breathe in. And out. One more in. And out. Very tall, still mountains. 
a gentle stream flowing downhill. Let's start tall, reach all the way up, and then pretend you're a stream flowing down the hill, nice and slow, all the way down. And you can bend your knees to reach your hands down, bend your back of your neck forward, and take a few breaths. You can reach your arms all the way to your toes and sway side to side. You could hold your elbows and rest your head more. Gentle stream of water. Good, reach all the way back up. And sit down, good. A playful dog stretching with skill. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, I press my palms and feet into the earth and raise my hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. These are your palms. That means you're gonna have your fingers spread really wide and press your palms into the floor. Press your toes into the floor and lift up and back. Good. You can bend your knees a little and straighten your back. Looking back at your feet. You can wiggle side to side. Bend your knees to make your puppy tail wiggle. Good job. It's a lot of stretching puppies. Today, I'm an explorer, calm and awake. Ooh, this person's exploring and they see the ocean. They've got a really long telescope that they're looking out to the boat or the ship. Okay, so start on your hands and knees. You're gonna bring your one hand forward like you have a telescope and then take your opposite foot back and stretch it out. Make yourself really long like you can see really far out to sea. Good, now put your other hand down, foot down, opposite hand and foot. So one hand, other foot. So if you have your left hand up, your right foot's back. Stretch and reach to see how far you can see. Good job. Beautiful. Explorers. Crossing bridges on paths I take. Those cute little ladybugs are going all the way up the bridge. Okay, so lay down on your back. Put your feet flat on the floor. Arms by your sides. And then press with your feet and your hands and lift up. Making a bridge. You can wiggle your arms a little bit underneath you and press up more. It's a very tall bridge. Take a deep breath. Maybe close your eyes and wiggle your toes. Good job. Sailing boats on the journeys I make. Now, if you have a friend with you doing the video, you can make a boat uh, bridge, like these two friends. They've got their hands together and their, their feet pressing together. If it's just you, you can make a boat all by yourself, like me. And pretend that you're floating in the river. So come to sitting on your bottom, feet in front. You can reach your hands behind your knees, one foot up at a time, and lean back like a boat. Long, straight spine. You can reach your hands forward to help you balance or up. You can straighten your legs. Nice tall boats, good. And you can rock gently. Ooh, and then all the way back. Good. Back and forth. Nice job. Calm and awake. I can do this is all I need to say. A deep breath in, a long breath out. I am ready for the day. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. Hands on your knees, we're gonna breathe in. 
and out. And we're gonna do a couple more with the breathing ball to end our practice. So keep sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down, reach your head all the way up to the ceiling. You can keep your hands on your knees or one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Here we go. Deep belly breaths. Lovely job. Thank you for doing those yoga poses with me. I feel nice and awake now and ready for my day. I also feel peaceful and calm knowing that my body is here on my mat and my mind is thinking of you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.